So this is the On Cloud, On's original and first running shoe. You could say it's a running shoe, but it's more of an athletic shoe, sneaker shoe, as I'll get into later. Here, I'm using it at the gym because that's what this shoe has become for me. Gym shoe and just casual everyday sneaker. Love some parts of it. As you can see, quite a flat, thin midsole. I think 15 millimeter in the forefoot, 23, 20 millimeter in the heel. Uh, and it's good for things like this. Holding weights uh, at the gym. Nice, stable platform. Lightweight shoe. Often good for leg day. Squats, lunges, deadlifts, whatever. Mainly because that midsole, nice, flexy. It's got those different pods. And it really shapes to how your foot is moving. Uh, and the floor, and basically just flattening out real nice under pressure. And easy to slip on and off, as you can see that lacing system designed for triathlons, basically no laces, and you can just slip them on and off real quick, very convenient. the shoe about one year originally purchased as a running shoe wanting to feel the OG the original model of on running shoe and after a year I'd say that the on cloud in a nutshell is high quality low function I'm not totally throwing this shoe under the bus but it's not it's not amazing for a running shoe not amazing for a runner and here's why. So the pros, great design, high quality materials. You can see at every step along the way from the mesh here over the top uh, to the way the mesh comes right down. See the way that comes right down to the edge of the midsole and here uh, and seamless just attaches uh, these perforations in the tongue, the thick flat lock stitching here and there at every single step along the way, you can tell that the ON design team considered everything uh, and, and it shows, you know, even little details like the Swiss flag there, the embossed logos, it's impressive, you know, and you can feel it, like you just hold the shoe, you touch the materials, it's got a nice lot of flex, like natural movement, flexy shoe, if that's what you want, it definitely has that, and it has a distinctive look, these cloud pods right hence the name and all the different cloud things that's that iconic midsole with these hollow kind of single you know units of midsole cushioning sometimes broken up in the middle that's also awesome i like that i think it looks great and it's uh, reason enough to, to check out the shoe however the cons midsole come right back to that midsole it's hard without being responsive there are so many good foams on the market uh, from just kind of run-of-the-mill good foams from like Saucony, Brooks, uh, Salomon, Adidas even, uh, to the new super foams, the Nike Zoom, the Saucony Endorphin Pro, something like that, some of the new Adidas. It's firm, but it doesn't have that pop and that, you know, that rebound, that responsiveness. What you get is simply a firm, old-school running shoe. And if you want ground feel, that's great. Uh, it's going to beat your legs up. It's not going to help you run long distances or run on hard surfaces. So not really for runners. Hence why I'm using this shoe at the gym. Because I ran about 8 times in it, about 50 kilometers total, and I had enough. That was it. Also the price, maybe the price is a con. It's like 130, 140 bucks, something like that. Cheap, but not that cheap. These laces, these laces, it's fine. It's fun that it actually can slip onto your foot and stay on and fit more or less kind of gently hugging your foot in all the right places uh, without need to tie up. However, if you are running in this shoe, not great. You're going to need to change the laces out and get real running, normal running laces in there because it's enough to stay on your foot, but not to give you a nice, stable, secure feel like a running shoe should have. Biggest drawback to the shoe, coming back to the midsole. Big line down the middle, lines between each one of those cloud pods, and in there, 
rocks get stuck in the middle or in the sides. And not just rocks, sometimes little pieces of stick or other debris. You gotta pick them out of your shoe. Sometimes on a run, you'll hear You gotta pick the rocks out of your midsole. Major design flaw. Like as it comes to a running shoe, that's about as big a design flaw as you can get. Coming back to the quality and the design, I like the look. It's the type of shoe that you can wear to work, wear to the cafe, wear wherever, and then also go do a workout in. So crossover gym shoe, crossover sneaker, awesome. However, coming back to that price point, you know, if you have like a Vans or a Converse or something with a nice flat hard midsole, you can also go to the gym. You can also go do whatever styly or professional things you want to do. And it's way cheaper than this shoe and it does just as good a job. So yeah, that's my take on worthwhile for the design and to check out this company, check out this brand, feel that midsole, see what it's all about. But if you're a runner and if you really want to do some gym, some runs, gotta buy another shoe. This is not the shoe for you.